Uh, Barry typed in the chat, hi all, I think it'd be great if Ashley could walk us through an acquisition remote from start to finish. Ashley, you up for that? Are you able to get yourself unmuted there? I'll, there we go, there I go. had to hit the right button. Yeah. Yeah, Sorry. yeah I mean, um, so we do the closing call. Well, first of all, Kevin gets the lead, he calls it. Then I do the, the closing call or Brandy does a closing call. Then we send the contract, we do the video walkthrough, get the title process started once we get that contract back. And then from there it's marketing and then the closing process with the attorney. And hopefully we can do a double closing with a new buyer at the same time since we started that marketing process early. Right, can we, I, I'm sure Barry wants more detail. Okay, what do we, what do we want here? <laughs> can we zoom in <laughs> on the timeline between when the lead comes in and when you get the deal under contract? So it comes in via Voxer mm -hmm. and email. Kevin makes the first call, the opening call. He schedules the appointment for Brandy or myself to do the closing call. And then at that point, we make the call at that time. Right before or right after that call, we will run comps. We'll do the research on the house and find whether it's a good deal for us or not. Um, then once we've done the closing call at the end of it, we're gonna see if we can schedule that video walkthrough as well as get them that contract. Then as soon as we get that contract back after the video walkthrough or during, preferably during the video walkthrough, um, mm -hmm. where we've been able to review the contract with them, then we'll move into the everything else from there on. Right. <clears throat> Property marketing and everything else. Yep. Yeah, I got you. Barry, does that answer your question? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> 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 Barry, I can get you unmuted here if you want. Here, there you go. Thank you. Um, yeah. Sticking points that I'm finding out there, I, I'm just curious how Ashley deals with the sticking point. Like um, we said, uh, uh, the gentleman over in Coeur Lane I was talking to on uh, Tuesday, he said, well, I don't really like that 90 day thing where you where, uh, you don't pay me for the first 90 days, basically. How do you handle that objection? I just use what Blair told us before, which is that's just how we do business. It's just what we do. And so I think my wife said this today. She said, you'd have to be really motivated to, to go with this type of thing. I said, bingo, that's the point, is to find mm -hmm. that motivated seller. So yeah. um, just uh, uh, since I'm on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got uh, Abdul has now uh, gotten us back out of having our Facebook account frozen three times. It's now frozen again, but he's sleeping. Yeah. Um, yeah. We did get, in the short period we were up, we did get three uh, forms filled out. Uh, we set a fifty dollar a day budget. Um, Abdul is, is is amazing. He's he's fast. He's smart. He he just just knows where to put everything. So yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm really glad we retained him. Um, yeah, and uh, we've got our VA now. We'll be on day four tomorrow. Uh, we're bubbling and stumbling through that at this point because I don't know Mojo very well, and so. He knows Mojo better than I do, but he doesn't know it that well either. So <laughs> we're figuring it out. We, we've got him on Clockify. I don't know if you're familiar with Clockify. Uh -uh. Uh, basically, it kind of keeps track of his hours uh, nice. on the computer. Um, it's a free Clockify.me if anybody wants okay. to look at it. Um, yeah.